Hi, this is Angie Travis Roberts, your real estate resource for Iredell County and Lake Norman, North Carolina. How do utilities affect the sale of my home? Yeah, this question often comes up about keeping utilities on when you're going through an estate settlement and maybe you as the seller have already vacated the property or perhaps you know you're going to be vacating the property either during the listing period or during the contract closing period. So why do I have to keep utilities on? First and foremost, in our North Carolina listing contracts, it says that the seller will make the home reasonably uh, accessible to a buyer to look at it, including the existing utilities. And that means water, sewer, electricity, gas if it applies, and if you have an alarm system that's tied into a phone system, you'll definitely want to keep that connected too if you want to use your alarm system. So that's basically what we're talking about. You know, in this hot weather that we're experiencing right now, and in the cold weather that we do have in the winter time, it's critically important about your home being comfortable. And when we're talking comfortable, moderate, that doesn't mean you have to turn your air conditioning down to 65 degrees or turn your heat up to 85 degrees. We're looking for something moderate. Remember, when that buyer walks in the door and it's hot outside, you don't want the temperature of your home to match the temperature outside. That can negatively impact a buyer. Might even make them wonder if your HVA system is working and you do not want that question to come up. You also want the buyer to know that all your utilities are working, that the water's coming through your pipes, that your toilet's flush, your HVA system works, your water heater heats, because they're going to be checking those things. They're going to turn on the water. They're going to do a few other things to see if it's functioning. Be prepared. When your systems are not functioning properly because you cut your utilities off, many times the buyer's going to assume that you haven't been taking care of some other things in the home. That can be detrimental to you when you get an offer because they take that into consideration. Another critical reason, especially at this time of the year, is to keep your HVAC on so that you have air circulating in the home. If you're not living in it in particular and no in and out flow of air, you can actually develop fungal growth, mold, or mildew that you didn't have there when you were living there. It's a lot less expensive to pay a power bill than have to deal with a moisture issue. You need to be proactive, not reactive. When you accept an offer to purchase on your property, it includes in there that the utilities will be on and functioning. The buyer has a right to check all the things in your home, anything and everything they want to check at their expense. And their home inspector is going to be checking all the functions that depend upon your utilities being on. So have them on and ready. Sometimes when you cut your utilities off, you create a problem that you didn't have before. So that when you cut the system back on, something is discovered, it worked perfectly fine while you were living there, and now there's a problem. Don't let that happen to you. You want your home to make the best impression upon that buyer so that you can get a great offer on it as well. So keep that yard looking great. Make sure your shrubs are cut and that your gutters are cleaned out. Buyers pay attention to those kinds of things. So you be ready. If you have other questions about buying or selling real estate, give us a call. We're here to answer your questions. Call us at 704-87-ANGIE or email us at Angie at Team ATR. Thank you for taking the time to view our video blog. Make it a great day and we'll talk to you soon.